Hi, welcome to 15 Minute Mom Kitchen. I'm Kripa and I create vegan and vegetarian recipes in 15 minutes. Sounds too good to be true? Well, with a few little tips and tricks and hacks in the kitchen, also knowing your products very well, you can cook in 15 minutes. Welcome to 15 Minute Mom Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a special recipe for you. Is it one recipe? Two recipes. Two recipes made in 15 minutes each. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So what are we making today? We are first making bagels. Yes. We're making some vegan bagels and some normal bagels. And, and then we are gonna make beetroot and bean burgers, one of my favorite dishes. So it is. It's a signature 15 minute mom burger. Uh, super successful. We've made this tons of times and now you both know how to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, let's get started. So, we're going to get yeah. one cup of that flour, whole meal flour, whole meal, whole meal flour. One cup of whole meal flour. Whole wheat bagels. And now we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. powder. Here you go. And the baking powder helps it to rise. So the bagels don't stay flat, they rise. Here you go. Oh, can you give it a little whiz with your finger? Perfect. And now we're going to add three quarter cups of yogurt. So we're going to have one with natural yogurt and one with coconut yogurt. Here you go. And we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Knead away, girls. The trick for these bagels to be amazing is kneading, 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 super kneading. All right, girls, strengthen those arms. The bowl's quite high, so it's not. It feels like Play-Doh. Oh, I got a taste of mm. Whilst the girls are kneading away, I'm going to start preparing for our burgers. For that, and to make them vegan, I'm going to use one tablespoon of flax seeds and add three tablespoons of water and let that rest for it to become my vegan substitute for an egg. The best way to knead this really, really well so you get the best bagels is to fold and punch it. Fold, like this, like this, look. Fold and punch. Fold and punch. Do this 10, 12 times and start your oven at 218 degrees Celsius so that your oven is preheated for your bagels. If you feel the dough is getting a little bit sticky, you can add a little bit of flour. And once you feel like you've given it a good punch, you can roll it out. A bit like a big loaf. Sausage. <laughs> and we're gonna cut it into four parts. So we're gonna make eight bagels. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one part and roll it out like a big snake. Do that? Yeah. Again, if it gets sticky, do add some flour. And now you're going to fold and roll them and press them in to make mini bagels. Line your baking tray with some parchment paper, some baking paper, and put your bagels on top. Once your bagels are on the tray, you can sprinkle some 
sesame seeds or poppy seeds or any seeds that you want on top. We're gonna use black sesame seeds. Our bagels are ready to be put in the oven. Our bagels are in the oven and they're going to cook for roughly 15 to 20 minutes until they're brown, which gives us just enough time to get our patties sorted. These patties are made in 15 minutes as well. So what are we gonna have in our black bean burgers? Black beans, of course. Beetroot. Salt. Mm -hmm. So we have some spices, salt, pepper, paprika. paprika. We've got garlic. We've got garlic. Our, our flaxseed egg that we made earlier. Onion yeah. and porridge oats. Perfect, let's get started. You will need a food processor for this to make it super snappy and super quick. In our food processor, we're going to add the black beans. Half the oats. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of chopped garlic, which is roughly two garlic cloves. One small red onion, which you can chop in four parts. <laughs> One flaxseed egg. Scoop it out. Yeah, that's it, scoop it out. Perfect. Oh, the onions are making me cry. <laughs> so girls, do you know why onions make you cry? They have an acid inside that goes straight up and then into your eyes, so it's probably best to have goggles while you're cutting onions. That's true. If you want to not cry cutting onions, you should wear some goggles. Yeah, what like type of acid in there? So when you cut an onion, not, it's not so the cute. sulfurous content of the onion goes into your eyes, touches the wetness of your eyes, and makes sulfuric acid. And it makes you cry. <laughs> One medium beetroot. You can cut it in four parts as well. Now beetroot and black beans are a bombastic combination. Black beans are super high in fiber, and high in protein, a great vegan food, legume to have. And paired up with beetroot and high content of vitamin C, we have a great combination of iron and vitamin C here. Thank you. And we're gonna add a handful of parsley or coriander, roughly chopped, and blitz away. Bagels are cooking in the oven really nicely, puffing up. This is where you check for consistency. To see if you can actually make a patty. It should be a little bit sticky, that's normal. But if you feel that you want them a little bit firmer, this is where you add the remaining oats. Are you girls ready to form the patties? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's form them here. Take a little handful. Should make roughly 10 to 12 patties. Good job, girls. <laughs> you enjoying this?
Yeah, I yeah. can't wait to eat them. This is the best part. And our bagels are coming out really nicely and these patties are gonna be delicious. So our bagels are in the oven, our patties are ready, and we've made... Wait, we've actually made 13. Oh, great, fantastic. So we've got 13 patties. We're gonna put this aside and start our frying pan. Make sure you ask a grown-up to help you here. Frying pans can be dangerous and very, very hot. So I would say, children, we're gonna stay back for this one, okay? okay. You can use a frying pan or a griddle pan. I'm gonna use a griddle pan and you add a little bit of oil, any preferred oil. I'm gonna use coconut oil, which is a great saturated fat and has a very high smoke point. If you wanna know about oils, check out my YouTube channel and I have all things food science for you. In goes my coconut oil. I'm actually gonna brush some in so I don't have an excess of it. And on go my patties. Roughly after a minute or two, you can flip your burgers and you'll see that they're nice and brown. Girls, our bagels are ready. Yay! Your bagels are ready when they are brown. And those are the patties. So now, all that's left is assembling them. Yeah. So make sure you let your bagels cool down before you slice them. And we're gonna assemble them now, right? Yeah. What are you gonna choose to have? I'm gonna put ooh, a lettuce piece. You can cut your lettuce smaller. Burger, patty. Tomato. Mmm, this and looks delicious. Tomato. You can use any sauce you like. <laughs> you quite like your sriracha mayo. Yeah, it's just got a nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And this one is vegan as well. So you can use mayo, ketchup, mustard, any sauces that you like. Some avocado? Oh yeah, some avocado. One here. And you've done your burgers. Well done. Is it delicious? Mm-hmm. So here you go, two super quick recipes. You can make your bagels super quickly. It's 15 minutes to make them. 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. And while you're doing that, you can make your patties and you have a great meal in under 30 minutes. Did you guys enjoy that? <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you for joining 15 Minute Mom Kitchen. If you like to cook easy, quick, nutritious, and healthy food, do join me on Instagram or on YouTube at 15 Minute Mom. Bye.